our Facebook as well as our YouTube page. Make sure you plug to the all right, and the invade the name of the show is the invasion and the invade the upper Nam Sanja was a space as a capio sayaska lukum pula pull in dogba so sell a quick pelile or golesano. We had a series um of interviews up or in go kelly kukul mend um panzgum buto la layo zizayo up on a pambili so cars and dogban and jeng bana sister wrap up the sixth administration as in doni is in do abazens lay because as the corn is bambati so as Zenziwe, Pangobana Ikale is sixth administration go twenty nineteen, Uzok Tikango, Bonke, Kebaya Tondela, and Bayeza, Apa Uzok Taza, Ivuleki, Leke Yonke Lendo, Naku and Pulapur, Naku and Bugeli, where Keith Nessi Radio, Radio, according to you. If it is according to you, as Yak Mamma in Dobana, Ubuze, Mibuzo, Fumane in Lakiso, Unene Quezezezezindo, Umpatiswa, Umlungis in Foko, as a Koti, as a Tete, in Dobana, Aikuenze, Kakule area in the Koyo, Okanya Quenze. Zeki ule area endi kuyo. E, ukwa mke aisko kwa mkuteta ndi wana civil ndi wana ukona e, umkonti walembiza u apiwe oza kustata ke through with the interview kunye no mpatiswa e, u we LED and uh, environmental affairs and tourism u mnumzana u mlungisi mvoko. We are concluding the sixth administration and we would kindly request the MEC to kindly provide the following information. Could you kindly highlight the state of the Eastern Cape economy from back in 2019? Thank you very much, Pio. Um, the, Eastern Cape, the Eastern Cape is the sixth uh, largest uh, economy in the country. Uh, we come, uh, the history of the Eastern Cape is, is such that we come from a very low base. As you would know that the greater part of our um, uh, province is uh, rural, underdeveloped, and mm. uh, the economic infrastructure is not so good. Uh, and this is owed to our, our history uh, as a province. We started uh, in 2019 as in this administration under very difficult uh, circumstances, uh, as you would know, that um, there were one too many uh, shocks uh, mm. that uh, between uh, 2019 up until 2022. In fact, still continuing to 2024 if I would uh, talk about others. So uh, it, it made it a very uh, difficult, uh, uh, a very challenging period for the sixth administration. Uh, the economy of the country, the economy of the world couldn't grow as uh, was expected. Uh, and this was due to uh, COVID-19 mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. soon as we started. And, uh, and the following years, we had uh, the geopolitical uh, tensions that we know about. These were those uh, geopolitical tensions uh, uh, disturbed uh, logistics uh, uh, supply chain logistics within the whole world. And uh, we also had the 2021 riots that also mm -hmm. had an effect to us, uh, uh, natural disasters. We have become a province that has uh, so many of these natural disasters through, uh, due to um, uh, weather patterns and uh, poor logistics. And uh, you would have seen that there are quite a number of uh, 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 initiatives, both by um, uh, the port authority to ensure that um, they they, they improve uh, the operations of the port. And lastly, the biggest one is the electric, electricity uh, shortages, which mm. is the, 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 the lockdown. So we came from that as a, as a new administration, as we came in. Whatever we had planned, we were going to do, had to change, mm. because now we had to, to adapt. Um, uh, we had to utilize the very little resources that we had uh, to, to ensure that we save jobs but also we protect uh, uh, livelihood. Mm. And uh, if, if I could just mention a few, we started by, by saying it can't be a, 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 a job uh, as is usual. Mm. 
we have to do things uh, uh, differently. I mean, to make an example, we said all government departments, now we're cutting how you're operating uh, on your subsistence as strongholds. We're going to cut you by 30, 40% to ensure that we take uh, money to deal with the challenges of the Department of, of, of Health. And, uh, but on the other hand, we knew that we had a responsibility, and that responsibility was, was to make sure that we would uh, uh, attract uh, in investment or investors uh, to ensure that we, we deal with this. Um, we, we, the Department uh, of Economic Development had a, had a program or a project. Uh, this project was uh, based on a portal that we have within the department. Now, this, is a, this was a portal that we were using uh, for distressed companies. Mm -hmm. So we had to convert this portal now to deal with the issues of, of, of COVID because um, uh, companies, if you would remember, many of the enterprises during that time had to shut down mm -hmm. because some couldn't, couldn't operate. Mm -hmm. So we used the, this portal uh, to say to enterprises, if you are in trouble, log into the portal and tell us what your challenge is. Mm -hmm. We even offered a number of companies, ten, if you log in and you tell us what your challenge is, we offered 10,000 rent mm -hmm. as a department to each company just to save jobs, to say, if you would want, uh, if you were going to lay down 10 people, we would offer you 10,000 rent for mm -hmm. each and every person so that you, and you do not uh, 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 retrench. So this was one of uh, the initiatives of, of the of the department to ensure that uh, we, we we save jobs. Uh, we supported 396 companies uh, as a department uh, uh, during uh, that time. We supported them both financially and and non-financial mm -hmm. because some during that time did not need uh, funds uh, to 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 save the jobs that that I mean that they were supposed to. Um, actually, in actual fact, on those 396 companies, we saved about 10,743 jobs. Those are, that's a number of jobs mm -hmm. that we, we saved uh, during that time using the, uh, the portal. But ECDC, as one of our entities, um, uh, they had a fund. They have a fund called the Job, uh, Stimulator, uh, Job Stimulus Fund. So it's an integrated program uh, that uh, they use within and it, it's, it's funded through referrals and uh, independent applications. And during that period, now, ECDC was able to save about 192 companies um, at a value of about 91.2 million rent, and, and actually um, saved in excess of, of, of 5,000 mm. 5, uh, uh, jobs. So all of these things were done in order to try and save jobs. But there were other sectors that were performing well, uh, sectors that were in the stable uh, of uh, of uh, the FTD, the Department of Economic Development, uh, some entities actually, uh, and they, I mean you would know that ECPTA is one of the um, uh, entities of um, of TD, mm -hmm. and ECPTA is responsible for tourism. Now, tourism is one of the uh, uh, sectors that are driving the economy of this province. And you would remember that during lockdown, uh, it, 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 there were no flights coming <laughs> from many different parts. Mm -hmm. And there was a time where even buses and all of things were stopped. Mm -hmm. And as soon as it was a uh, COVID-19 was easing down, you had to do something uh, to ensure that you, you, you attract uh, uh, tourists within, within the country. So when we spoke to them, we, say, we asked them, what is it that we can do to ensure that we compete? Because remember, this is a very, this is a cutthroat uh, uh, sector. Mm -hmm. Uh, dominated uh, mostly by Gauteng, mm. Western Cape, and KZN, uh, and 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 with them w we we allocated uh, 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 an amount of about 19 million rand to them. A part of it was to do uh, tourism in intelligence, um, uh, which is a, a customer-centered packaging, uh, where they had or to do business continuity and sustainability. The same as we did, where they had to. Uh, see how they could uh, save the jobs within within the sector um, uh, because uh, there were protocols during that time and those protocols around uh, uh, sanitizing the stand mm -hmm. and, and all of those things so um, the, 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 to the, the, um, the tourism, the tourism uh, products 
many of them, uh, the product owners, could not afford to do those things. So we had to come in and, and, and step in. But also, uh, there were no conferences mm. for marketing. Uh, the, the, the conference that we know all go to in Deben, uh, in Deben, in Deben. Mm. wasn't there. So we had to fund them to do some smart marketing. So part of the funds we gave them was to say, now go into all the digital platforms mm. and start marketing uh, uh, the mm. Eastern Cape. Um, uh, and during that time, when uh, COVID was easing, um, uh, the Eastern Cape uh, performed the best, in fact, uh, um, uh, in terms of uh, domestic tourism, mm -hmm. with the one uh, the province that attracted the most in in, in domestic uh, uh, tourism. So, so these are all the all the things that we did uh, to try and deal with COVID. We must I must also say that we come from a a background in the Eastern Cape where since 2013-14. Uh, in the, uh, from the National Fiscus, our own allocation, that we, we, now as we talk, we have lost uh, about 33 billion rand. You, you would know that um, uh, with the uh, number of people that leave the country, it becomes a, a disadvantage to the Eastern Cape because uh, one of the values of the formula that is used uh, to, uh, um, to allocate funds to provinces by national treasury has to do with population. Mm. So over the years, that's how we over the years have lost uh, that much, about 33.9 billion rand. So, um, but soon thereafter, we then uh, started to look at how do we then um, um, uh, attract inv investment. We've held uh, some, a number of um, investment conferences. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest of all was the one of the previous of, of, of this financial year that we held, which was able to attract about 173 okay. billion uh, 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 rand for 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 to inf I'm sorry, 100, yes, 173 billion rand. Uh, so uh, there was the other previous one. I think it attracted about about 46 uh, uh, billion rand. Uh, these are all uh, initiatives to try and turn the province around, given that we have had uh, serious challenges. The automotive industry is the backbone of, of, of this pro, uh, province uh, economically. Uh, it uh, employs about 65,000 people. You would know that uh, we have, uh, uh, we have uh, the most component suppliers mm -hmm. in the country allocated uh, in the in the Eastern Cape, about 118 uh, component suppliers, uh, they 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 generate a, a, a revenue uh, into our economy of uh, of billions of rands. We also have the most uh, uh, OEMs, which is the original equi uh, equipment uh, manufacturers, you know, serious bands here, and you have uh, VW in uh, Kareha, and uh, you have Isuzu. You have Ford engine plant, and uh, now we also have BAIC, a bike which has, which was, which was actually constructed during the period of COVID, and uh, and in that period then stopped uh, 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 construction. But now it has taken off, and now we've been also been able now to attract another uh, OEM, which is Stellantis, uh, which will be located uh, in Kuha. Uh, where IGC has also in, uh, invested in them. And uh, we, if we talk about investments um, uh, from, from the angle of the, of the SEZ. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm raising this uh, because the SEZs uh, attracts, attract more investors in the province than any other. Mm. Because people want to be in the SEZ because the XZ um, uh, actually creates a conducive environment for them. Now, if you look at, uh, for instance, uh, uh, the East London um, uh, uh, economy zone, we still, sorry, East London IDZ, we still call it East London IDZ. Um, in total, it is able to, uh, if we look at what it has, it has been able to attract about 41 investors within the zone. And many of those investors within the zone are, are automotive, mm -hmm. uh, creating uh, about 5,000 uh, jobs, uh, 5,200 jobs that are created uh, during that. But uh, at the period 
from 2019 up to now, mm -hmm. which is in this term, it was able to attract about 24 uh, investors uh, to a tune of 5.7 billion rand. Now, uh, 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 when it comes to Kuha, mm -hmm. uh, it's been able to attract about 60 uh, investors, creating about uh, more than 9,000 uh, uh, jobs. And, uh, and during the period that we are in, it has been able to attract about 27, um, uh, in fact, 21 of those that are attracted within the period, which is attracted more than 50 investors, but 21 of those are already uh, operational, uh, creating about uh, uh, 2,500 jobs. But we've also had other uh, initiatives uh, as a province. Uh, from the uh, stimulus fund that we created at some point in time, we're able to use that stimulus fund uh, in the in the industrial parks because we have industrial parks that we're trying to deal with. You talk about Timbaza, for instance. Yes. We've got factories operating there, but one of the challenges in Timbaza was that uh, uh, some of I mean the bulk we had to improve the bulk uh, in in Timbaza. We had to improve. Uh, uh, when I talk about the bulk, I'll talk about electricity, water, etc. We also had to improve the roads. This is part of what we, we funded them for. And we also had to improve uh, uh, fencing around. Uh, so we've used some of those funds for, for Timbaza. We've used it uh, for, for all, all other uh, industrial parks that we have. Industria in, 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 in Komani wasn't, wasn't, uh, well, is one of those that we covered. If we could go there now, we even bought a transformer for that one to make sure that, that it operates. We've, we've spent money also uh, through EGC on uh, enterprise de development. Because we had to do that, we spent about um, 2.8 million rand uh, uh, to, to, to some of the, we supported about uh, and incubated about uh, 49 enterprises using uh, uh, ECGC. And um, um, the, the, the 49 enterprises that we, we incubated uh, generated uh, more than a, 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 a million rand in turnover uh, in the year 2022-23. We... In the previous financial year, we established a fund called the Eastern Cape Development uh, Fund. We gave uh, uh, the department um, 100 million rand, which is, has just been given to uh, ECTC. And I know as up to, up to date, they have spent, I mean, they have spent up to allocated more than 80 million rand. This is by way of trying to uh, uh, stimulate the the economy within 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 the province, and uh, there's also the film industry. I mustn't I mustn't forget to talk about the film industry because we've injected quite a lot of money in the film industry. Uh, uh, in the previous five years since we started in 2019, we injected about 39 million rand. But 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 this financial year, uh, we uh, going forward, we've injected more than the five years. We've injected uh, 24 million rand. The reason for that is because. We have seen the number of uh, films shot within uh, uh, the province, uh, and uh, uh, they generate quite a lot of uh, income for a number of people within the province, uh, particularly the, the medium, small, and micro enterprises. You talk about Kabeha, and you go to Kabeha, uh, it's shot in the townships, and many people have, uh, I mean, they've given their houses to them. So they've employed some have never been taught if they will even be in the acting. And uh, so we, Survivor, for instance, has been shot in the province two times. I think the, the season eight was shot in uh, on the other place on the, at the end of the province in Mzamba. Mm -hmm. And uh, season nine was shot here in uh, Port Alfred. So it's, it's encouraging to see the number of, of films that are being shot in, in the province. So we, we've used that to ensure that uh, we give them more money. Uh, as, as 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 a province to ensure that they they um, uh, they, they attract more films because they they assist us in the in their creation of uh, of jobs. So uh, in a nutshell, I would say that's how we are performing with the number of jobs that I've highlighted and the in the industries that are that are performing within the province. We can see that there is an improvement, and I'm certain that we've laid the basis for the next administration. 
even though it's under difficult, I mean, we started under difficult uh, circumstances, we've been able to, to at least uh, come back and uh, uh, pull through and, and create a platform so that if there is no other uh, calamity coming <laughs> our way, uh, uh, I'm sure that the, the servant administration will find it easier going, going forward. But as I have highlighted, one of the biggest challenges that we have in the, in the, in, in the province is, as I said, we're coming from a low base. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, challenges of roads. 90% of uh, the roads in the Eastern Cape are gravel roads. Uh, and, uh, and only 10% of the roads in the Eastern Cape are surfaced. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, we have partnered uh, with Sandral. Uh, if you, wherever you go in the province, you will see there's a lot of construction that is being done. And, 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 and that construction is, is due to our partnership with Sandral. Whether you go to Gone uh, and even this side, you will see there are quite a lot of roads. So that construction is as a result of partnership because I don't think the Eastern Cape has got the financial muscle to do some of these things. Okay, but it's fine. We, we use some of our location, but the speed at which Sandral does things is assisting us. Uh, in, so, so that's why we are, we are partnering with them. So that, that infrastructure, but also we would know that with the bridges, uh, we also have a challenge uh, due to um, climate change, uh, something unusual. You, you would have noticed that Port St. John's has been underwater now two times. <laughs> something that was never thought of. And many of the bridges have been washed away. Uh, you would know that through the, the partnership we've, we've had with, with the department as well, there are quite a number of bridges. So we're coming from that low base where uh, the, the province for over a long time has, not, uh, has been neglected in, in some areas. So we have to catch up, to play the catch up. But the allocation from the national treasury is not assisting us. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's um, uh, we always have a deficit um, that we have to um, uh, uh, try and and assist by taking from from our own revenue fund uh, because uh, our allocation. I mean, I mean, this year we we, we 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 in terms of what we want, we are going to spend. We'll spend about 95 billion rand, and yet. Our allocation coming from there is only 92 billion rand. Uh, that's what we got from National Treasury. So, uh, we, 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 so the, 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 the allocation coming to our side is not assisting us. So, but we have to make do with what we have and, and be creative. And that creativity comes with partnerships that we have. Uh, I, I, would, I, I know that you would also want to say what are the challenges yes. uh, that we <laughs> it have. It is actually going to be my next question. Yeah. Yeah. On Look, <laughs> we have a lot of challenges when it comes to the economy of the province. And, and on top of them is the electricity crisis, uh, uh, the ongoing load shedding uh, that has been there for, yeah, for a number of years now. We brought the Minister of Electricity here uh, more than two times. Even last week, I was with the Minister of Electricity in Kabeha, where we had to go and address the business uh, people. We've been here, visited the original equipment manufacturer, the OEMs, been here in Mercedes-Benz more than twice. We even, uh, yeah, uh, uh, we went to Isuzu, we went to, to VW to talk to them. Uh, we've actually had, even had a, a meeting with Mercedes-Benz, the, 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 the chairperson globally was here. I was in a discussion with them to say, this is a serious challenge. You've got to deal with it. So that's one of the biggest challenges that we have. Um, a number of uh, uh, businesses have, have gone down uh, uh, due to, to load trading. Unfortunately, we don't have that muscle now mm -hmm. that we had uh, previously to, to, to offer incentives because this electricity challenge is there and will be there, will be with us for a long time until it is resolved nationally, and it's not within us. We, so the, 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 that's one of the challenges. Um, um, I mean, in, if you talk about economic infrastructure, as I've, I've just outlined uh, to, to you, it's been one of the uh, challenges. Cost of doing business in the Eastern Cape um, is also one of the challenges that we have. Some, some people will tell you, that look, a cost of do, uh, doing business in the Eastern Cape um, is, uh, is, is huge. Because of logistics and transport, um, whatever we produce agriculturally here, 
must be transported ported elsewhere for processing because we don't know we've got very few uh, 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 um, uh, ent uh, enterprises that are doing processes. So the, the cost of doing business is, is one of those uh, uh, challenges. Um, I've spoken about the constrained fiscal resources um, uh, and, re and reduced uh, public sector uh, budgets. One of the challenges here is that we are not able to, as a province, uh, generate enough revenue. We, 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 there was a study undertaken by the University of Forte that we commissioned to say, how much that can we realize as a province uh, uh, on an annual basis to try and save ourselves? And the, and, and, and the study indicated that we could generate to about a uh, seven billion rand uh, uh, within that. But we are far from that. We haven't we haven't even reached a, a three billion rand. So this is one of the challenges what we have. Okay, climate change um, uh, now has become the new challenge. Mm -hmm. Uh, given uh, what happens uh, during the time whenever the, the rains that we're having in the province, the disasters, mm -hmm. and there isn't enough. From the provincial <coughs> side of things, we can't budget for disaster because we don't know mm -hmm. uh, what you've got. And, and, and the disasters are wreaking havoc in the province. We rely on the national government to allocate uh, uh, funds for us, for houses, for roads. And, and uh, due to climate change, uh, this week, the roads are all good, uh, just for six months, and after six months, heavy rains come, mm. they wash so away those roads, mm. and you still have to, you, you have to um, um, apply for, for, for funds. And lastly, I would also say on the, uh, the poor skills levels and low levels of educational uh, uh, attainment are also a challenge. Uh, the only industry that is doing well uh, when it comes to skills here is the is the automotive industry. Mm -hmm. And precisely because of the history of the automotive industry in the province, I mean, it spans for more than um, 70 years. Uh, so it has a very a good uh, skills base, even though some have left, General Motors left, and, and some of the people that, were, that lost their jobs or got retrenched uh, during that time, even in Ford, mm -hmm. are, are, are still around and get absorbed by others. So and, and that, that's the only industry that is doing very well. But with the new energy vehicles now coming, uh, we <laughs> don't know what will be the, the, the situation. But we are very uh, glad that uh, all these OEMs uh, have committed to stay in the Eastern Cape. I must say that. Uh, VW has just, I, I mean, uh, you saw in the newspapers, they've, they've committed now that, they, that that would be the plant where the Polo throughout the world will be manufactured. Remember, VW uh, was manufacturing a uh, Polo in, in, in Spain and, and in South Africa, but now they've closed their, their, they're closing their Spain uh, factory for Polo so that all Polo vehicles will be manufactured in South Africa in preparation for the new energy vehicles in Spain. So that's a commitment to us. We've been to uh, Mercedes-Benz. We've seen what they, they have done. I mean, uh, they, they've also assisted in terms of the energy that they've built a, a huge uh, a photovoltaic uh, a, a field on in, in, in their plant, and all of them are doing that. So to us, that's a commitment, and uh, we're waiting for Isuzu also to make their own commitment. I know something that there's a commitment that they are going to make, which is which is which still um, reaffirms their commitment to the Eastern Cape. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I've I've said so much, Pure. <laughs> You know, you know, the time delay when I MEC is that young me moves or image in I of the now I call as I was showing a telegram nandy. Yeah, come to Banga Bagan, a pull up, pull up a seven Makai, Banga Bagan, a Vilica Kuke, a Kokona just quickly seen I know Mamta and quickly going to our comments. Um, she does six to nine. Is it getting a great interview? Mamta and be very informative. Samuel Lakakulu. Also, we have a put Ian, our James to an I Banga Bagan. I definitely have time for MEC in Vogo. No stand, the bombs have been a couple of political talents of how Timmy snake and I can of Van David as again watching from a water Sulu local municipality. Sabula la Kundonke, a Oko, you bang away when I'm plopping salute to the little Shabbos Chilo, or bang again and pleasure. We're doing great according to the MEC of the MED that is in Lumbus and Vogo. So, Joganega, when you need defeat as well as the success, as well as the challenges, is the Koyo Kokonega. You can also simply send through Omializ or Nai on Zoya double six one two seven two seven two three clap again. Is our guys or colors. Thank you.
understand Banga Bagay, it was a very tough time for Tina Song. They never had the resources and so forth in terms of actually starting their businesses again. What kind of I like? Um, yeah, so Mukabela is that uh, despite the challenges, uh, this administration has done great uh, in ensuring that um, the economy of uh, this province is growing. We have put a number of uh, instruments and funds to, to, to fund those who want to do business in the Eastern Cape. We also have a policy that has made sure Pure, that uh, whatever a uh, budget that comes to us for goods and services is spent in the Eastern Cape and is spent within the uh, medium, uh, small, and micro enterprises. So we, we want to partner with any enterprise and the private sector. This is what we were calling for partnership. Government is not going to be able to do this alone. We can only do this through partnerships. Mm -hmm. So we invite the private sector to come and partner with us in government in improving the lives of the people of the Eastern Cape. Thank you so much, Sabula Lagakuru. And that was the ABC of Uloka Economic Development, Ululis and Voko. From me, myself, and I, Pio Mandoka, Zibanga, Begin, Oke, Mpula, Pulu, Sena, Emi, Buzo, Koi, Feel Free, to Post, Get Pepe, Oscar, Skula, Begin, Oke, Tikis, Oke, 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 Oke,